Okay. This is one thing that sucks about... So close, guys. Look at how close we were. Maybe we mulligan weavers to try and complete the picture later on. How should? Uh, lots of four provision cards, because then you end the game with four provision cards in your deck. This is where the Marilorn would be popping off, mate. So yeah, Unicorn is hitting Mamuna, which obviously sucks round one, but we can make sure it's set up for round two. We can always just use the urn as well. On our dude. Urn might just be bad in this deck, honestly, though. It's kind of dodgy. Oh dear. We have a zero point stratagem, guys, it seems. It's not great. Fine, we'll just go leader for Maruna, I guess. I rolled the creep for Maruna. A superb specimen, truly. I guess I was just supposed to play Brewis. I just go Brewis, right? And then I just. Off the leader. I don't know. I think it was just a Burris play rather than this. If it dies though, it would have been really bad, I guess. So, there's that. The Elder Bear. Oh my god. There's the lock. Chrome placement doesn't matter, mate. Honestly, I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> because of the... Uh... Because of the Gankians. Gankians just ruins it anyway, mate. We could back row this. This urn is looking very dodgy. Very good stratagem. 10 out of 10. I mean, the good news is this unicorn is popping off, right? It's probably, it's going to not mill that many good things, <laughs> in fairness. But it's just tutoring a Mamuna, which we really want. So the art spot can go. Okay. Mamuna now is on Gankian. Irakus. So if we go for the Unicorn first, we don't get the Gurney Transform. Royal Decree is going to be reserved to what? Well, maybe Maruna? So if we go for Unicorn first, onto Bloody Mistress, it opens up the potential to eat, but we also have double Mamuna anyway, right? Because of Gankian, Witch Apprentice, also the Lesser Witch. I guess it's just our best proactive play anyway, right? We could go Mamuna. Onto Elder Bear, right? I think that might be better here. Then we just want the Gurney to transform straight away, right? Yo, Tephilus, thank you so much for the Prime sub, mate. But I do. What a lad. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Okay. So, we just go Unicorn here. Which plays for... 11. Gives us... What we need. Why not Kiki more warriors? I mean, you could, but often bears better, right? Because three damage kills the Kiki more. That's why. The logic. Hmm. 
Oh man, I really appreciate it. It's really kind of you. It means a lot, mate. Um, so what we could do here, right? We could eat the gurney. Do we ever eat gurney? We have double Mamuna as well. That's the thing, right? We have the option to choose her. What would what would we prefer? Because we could just eat this, right? And then bang. I guess we only get one more gurney. I think we just rather have a Mamuna, honestly, right? I think we'd rather just have a Mamuna. It won't flip because it's locked. Maybe it was better though. But they have Invo probably, right? So going super tall doesn't really benefit us that much. And it also slows down us getting our Witch Apprentice engine through. I think this was better. This deck seems kind of legit. We drew really well here though. But this deck doesn't seem that bad, right? Like... You just say that the lead is worth it because of Maruna and this. It's kind of reasonable. Like, the lead is kind of bad for all in Deathwish decks, but for this, at least you're getting some value from it, right? Unicorn would give us Maruna, by the way. That'll be pretty good. Have some lovely sushi, Siobhan. Lovely to see you, my friend. Thanks again for the 5,000 bits. 5,000 bits. What the hell? Okay. Still a fruit. It's pretty good. Ah, we just got to go for it, mate, innit? I guess I could maroon her first. Nah. Blueberries, blueberries. That is a lot of flipping points. <laughs> oh, let's go, mate. That is a lot of points, chat, right there. Are we really 2 owing Shoop Nilfgaard with the tur <laughs> when they t calvated in round one? Holy moly. So that's kind of how it seems. I did miss a point of Thrive. Are we winning? Ah! No! 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 What was it they invoked? A witch apprentice? I n I've never understood why Ramon was in the stack. Oh, they have the carryover. Oh, rip, guys. This is so sad. I mean, as hands go, it could be, it could be, could be worse, I guess. We can Incubus the Lesser Witch, right? Such a shit ton of points. Um, Gankian's in my graveyard at 9. Is there any 5 provision cards for them? There's a Blightmaker, but I have nothing to do with it. I guess we just res Illusionist for them, right? And we get a uh, 10 point. Oh, the carry overshoot, man. It's going to win it for them, right? It's going to be the difference. Uh, I never... Never really understood this, uh, Ramon. We've got to go for maximum engine value and hope they don't have damage pings, man. We, uh, milled their Blightmaker. It's 
Pretty good. We're 10 down. We miss self eaters the whole game. Ramon's in because of illusionists. Yeah, I understand, but I don't know. I think it's just bad. Because your Calvate puts all your gold to the top. Wait, that was their finisher? Is there a, you're telling me there's a chance? You're telling me, chat, there is a chance. Oh, oh we only summon it, not play it. You live and learn. I'm sitting here watching, my friend. <laughs> One love. Okay. We have a pretty okay hand, I guess. Bruis. Not sure I really like Ratcatcher Esser here. It's probably not a great sign if you're mulliganing a 7 provision card, is it? It's a pity I can never finish. Mm. Yo, Loki's here. Thanks for follow. True. Also, Kate asked earlier we're going to play any Witch Free. I, I think we'll end I'm with some Witch Free. Right. Might do another like late stream for Witch Free as well, guys. If you didn't catch it last night, I did a Witch Free stream like after my old man went to bed yesterday. Might do another one of those, like, possibly. Altrance is going good, definitely, yeah. I guess it's one of the uh, deck I should post a video on at some point. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll see what my old man's doing. Again, problem with me... Oh, let's go. Problem with me streaming a lot or doing much streaming is the fact that it is just me and my dad. And I feel pretty bad for, you know, because no one else is here for Christmas. So anytime I'm streaming, I'm basically leaving him on his own. I don't know, maybe it was better to just go for something different first. Double consume is quite nice to take through. We're not forced to pass yet. We also don't actually want to click the self eater at this point because we could incubus it. If they have any six provision units, which I'm not convinced they do. I mean, I think that's just fine for us, right? I don't think we care. Maybe I'm deluded. We could, yeah, we could also um, gurney this, right? So how do I do the points? Mushy Truffle maybe, plus this would do it. So if I go Truffle first, this is worth 16, 17. Whereas if I go Witch Apprentice first, it's worth... Ten. This is just not enough. Board space is probably going to be an issue for them. This is definitely a situation where the fact my unicorn isn't set up for round one feels like it's misplaced, right? It would be great to try and squeeze in like a a she who knows or something we actually actively want a unicorn into in round one. What the hell is that haircut and beard? What on Geralt, mate? That's called it's just that's just what I like to call a little bit of class, mate, you know? 
How's parts and chips? Seems very really good, yeah. Aren't Incubi bad without Operator? Not in this deck because they're um, 6 base power and you have Gankians and Witch Princes. They do become significantly better with Operator though. Which we could play very unreliably though. Gankians and Mamuna target? Yeah, but you've got a bunch of them, right? Like... Self-eater. Mamuna this, you can... Got some Mamuna Witch Apprentice. Card's just fine, right? You could just play one. It's a relic, ultimately. And it's got it's a six body these days, which is a big difference. Big difference compared to what it used to be. So, what are we doing now? This is just no world we ever keep this Elder Bear, right? So we have AQ. They probably play a Heat Wave. Again, I think it's more likely to go from a Moona rather than double Gurney. Pretty sure we just kill this. I guess Maruna was an option. Maruna maybe was the better option there. Probably should have gone Maruna, right? I do think they're going to have some serious board space issues. So let's just play for our engine value here. Which starts with Self Eater. You have no five provision cards, by the way, guys. So this incubus is looking very shit. Right, I don't have a buyer. No. Maybe we should bring her back. I guess the key was. To have played Brewis in round one and then I could maroon this and killed the second. I was probably in a winning spot because I didn't do that. I'm not looking good. They don't have any rain down on the board. I'm not really worried about I guess delirium's a thing, but not really. Oh, that's a thing, I guess. Forgot about that. Oops. So another misplay. Jesus. Board space is definitely an issue for them. This card is popping off, guys. I want to clog their board, right? Bow before modern prayer. With a surprise a incubus in a bit. We might be winning. 
I don't think it's out of the question. Doesn't look good for us, but you never know. So we might incubus this lesser witch really late on. This. Well, for this rather. We go incubus on the lesser witch later on. Which means we would then Mamuna. I think we just play this through. If we even get close to this deck in a long round, it's pretty impressive. Doesn't look great though. That is a bloody lot of points though, isn't it? Bloody Nora. Did play into Heatwave unnecessarily though, I could easily either charge through less points. They're already Heatwave though, isn't it? Okay, doesn't look like I'm ever actually going to block the space for them. But what you'll notice is I did lose a little bit of fry value here. How is this so close? Holy moly. My leader is just not popping off, unfortunately. So, kind of close. I think I could have won this if I played it better, right? Definitely could have got these extra points out. Really interesting. Look how close that is, guys. That's promising. Really promising. Oh boy! Uh, do we mulligan the Jagger? <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe we do. Nah. Nah, bruv. Believe in the power. Hands honestly kind of nice. I don't know if you played Weavers. I mean, in this deck, I just don't have enough Death Wish cards uh, to be worth it. If you actually look at the amount of Death Wish cards I have, it's very negligible. It would be fun, though. It could be an idea just for. You could argue she's worth it just for a Wrecker screen, but it's a stretch. So, I decided not to play Self Eater because I thought I was just going to die to a leader charge, which it will. Just trades down too cleanly for the leader charge, right? This guy's in barrel of laughs. Oh wait, I forgot we can maroon the Saskia even thought about that. Wait, didn't I just misplay massively? What the fuck? I literally had the urn and I had raw the... Oh god, guys. Oh, Jesus. We could have completely wrecked this guy's life, but I'm too bad to have realised. 
We literally. <laughs> we, we actually. Oh god, guys. We actually had the Omega counter, and I didn't even realize. What a fool. I'm so bad at the video game today. Never mind. And we could still go for it. If we wait a turn, they might click this for it. You are catch, yeah. Don't you fret about me. I take care of myself. Well, better late than never, I suppose. This guy's gonna be like, what the hell? Easy snipe. Oops. It's went pretty well for us. Considering my misplay with Maruna. Which was obviously what I was supposed to use the urn on as well. Um, it went pretty well. So I still have no Maddock at least for round 3. I think we might just be winning this game honestly. If only I didn't have a Jagger, I'd be feeling more confident, I think. <laughs> Pretty much. Jesus Christ. Getting Sabbath for this Witch Apprentice is going to be good. So if there's a way to get Unicorn plus like a She Who Knows in this deck, it could be worth it. Wow, they didn't kill this. It's really surprising. Um, so I can go for Mamuna onto what? I have no Lesser Witches, unfortunately, in the deck. Obviously, I don't want it to be on this. If they kill the bear, at least I can maneuver it. Obviously far from ideal here, but just is what it is, man. They heat wave it. That's very suspicious. Not at all. Uh, like who heat waves it? What the fuck? Seriously, dude. Really, bruh? Really, bruh? How do we win from here? Uh, we don't have to pass because of Sabertooth Tiger, mate. We basically need to get some traps from them here. Otherwise we're just going to lose to Aldane. Fortress no one, never have. Let's go, mate! Quick, move those 
Guys, two oh, two oh, two oh, two oh. What are you doing? Oh, let's go. Not two oh, but somehow. Like, bear in mind, I played round one horrifically. And then not bad, I guess. No, 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 no. These two cards suck. Suck a lot. This is very good. This ain't great. Wait, so they have no units in hand, guys. Come on, the bear. Nice Maddock! <laughs> nice Maddock! Lord is a dwarf. True. Nice Maddock! Oh! And I played badly. Okay. We had one game of Yaga, guys. First, so and then help Triss at a later point. Kind of want to go to scale again. All right. We have the Brewers plus the Archspore. We have like one of everything, which is really nice. There's no real need to mulligan anything here. I guess we could... We kind of want an Elder Bear in the graveyard, right? We just want... Probably not the Lesser Witch. A superb specimen, truly. Yes, lad. Thanks for follow. It's also nice that we've got these two. Exactly, like the last game we, we didn't have the Brewers, right? We want the four. We want six damage to clean up the second one, and Marina to get one of them as well. The uh, whatever they're called, preachers. Best drown yourself with those damn names. This was the note that Wang had made. What battle trance? I don't know. I don't, it's kind of builds itself. I mean, I built basically this exact same deck myself, with like a couple of cards different from like final version. But I don't claim that I built it either. Apart from when I'm memeing, but pretty much I built this exact same version myself from scratch, like right at this, like a couple months back, I think. So I think it's pretty difficult to say anyone built it. Basically, I guess we missed the point on not going self eater first before this. Also, I don't really think we're expecting to win the round. So maybe it's best to try and save Self Eater. Wow, they pass so soon. Um, okay. I think with the Uridin, we just can't really lose, right? We also have Mushy Truffle Carrier if we find it here. <laughs> yeah, with the Uridin, we're just winning. We just can't lose. <laughs> Flipping Uridin, mate. Nice. Nice. This could be nice. It's kind of risky. I think I might kick it. They're looking for Truffle. No Truffle, so I'll just take a uh, extra Mulligan for round three. Yeah, we have Maruna for the first one, and then we have Whispers for the second. But remember, we have a flipping Uridin, mate. Let's just try and find uh, the Arrakis Queen. That would be nice. My double Mamuna. Double Incubus sounds really bad. Not even sure I want one. 
Okay, we find the Uridon, which is great. It means I can go and rack a screen. I guess something's going to die, probably. Selfita. We just win, right? <laughs> Random Uridon just wins games, mate. Simple as that. But for this deck, it makes sense, right? We've been in this situation where long rounds happened a lot. Like with Relics, you have quite a lot of... Uh, a lot of the time, you just end up in a long round. And you fancy your chances on a long round. You've also just got really good short round cards like this. We had a bunch of provisions we weren't really sure what to do with. Yeah. You shall perish, worm. That might even be amusing. Crack and eat me girly. Look in here. Cynthia, that is a winner. Jeez. Okay, Coral Opener is a little bit intimidating. Must admit. Do we just eat it? I guess we do because we have Eurid and we don't really care about the Bonded Princes as much. Get, get rid of it, innit? We have Uridon, we do scale. Can you blame me? We had a unicorn before, but we were like, eh. We didn't want it. We tried Bab. We tried Yaga. We we're like, eh. Then we realized the power of Uridon is strong. This is my first time putting Uridon in a deck in a long time as well. So at least it is somewhat calculated for this specific deck. It's not like I'm putting it in a load of random decks, but I think in this deck it actually makes a lot of sense. Because we have like very little control. I wanted to play a Spores. You remember I had a Spores? It's just like a... Instead of playing a Heat Wave for it, which I could play. I could play a Heat Wave in this deck. It's just like we have such little control, why not just... Uh... Look at the synergy, by the way. I wasn't supposed to click it that time, was I? Oops. Need to go Gurney next. Mamuna, we have on Gankian and Elder. There. Then. This Incubus is pretty bad, make no mistake. Where is there a. <sighs> Think of a Jigger. The sad thing is, we would just be beating them even if they had the Sarah, but it looks like they've missed it, doesn't it? Unless they still. Surely they haven't missed it. Is it even possible to miss it? Oh, there's a five? Kind of helps, maybe. There's a lot of points we have accumulated here. How did they miss their scenario? What the hell? This is so sad, mate. We were going to win by so many points. They can be like, why did they play that and not the, not the bear? 
So we're playing into Heat Wave here, but. I'm a bit worried about board space. Oh no, I misplayed! Oops. Uh. Oops. Yep. Oopsie daisy. I think it doesn't matter. Kinda matters. Yes, I meant to eat the Mamuna with the Arrakis Queen. <laughs> and then lead a charge the Arrakis Queen, and then I'd have another Mamuna. It's kind of close. Okay, they didn't even know I had Uridan. That's so sad. Try again, you need to try it a lot harder. No Christmas Eve stream? I don't think so, mate. It's just me and my dad, mate. I could, I could maybe do one in the morning. But um, if I do, it'll just be Witcher 3, I think, rather than Gwent. Basically, like my dad's finishing work earlier tomorrow. He's actually still working on Christmas Eve. But it's only me and my dad. It's just not an option, really. There won't be one on Boxing Day, either. Probably the 27th I'll be back. I would quite like to stream, honestly. But as I say, because it's just me and my dad, it's... Uh, Oh, of course, then I hit the Bruce. Rippers. Guys, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. They're going to play the Saskia. That's not Saskia. What the hell? Oh, yeah, it gets charges now as well. Look at that. Ooh. Juicy. Very, very juicy. Forgot about that. So there's like no reason not to play this first unless it dies. I guess after you've already consumed as well, you can consume and then play another. That would also work. Nice. I forgot about that. Yes, yeah, triple. But yeah, unboxing there, I'm going to go, which is nice. I'm going to go see. We weren't planning on. Gonna go see my family, my cousin. We're, we're, I think we're planning on seeing them on the 30th. I'm gonna see my uncle that I was living with for a long time, my auntie. Not today, little boy. Quite like to play the Gankian, I guess. Pretty damn fun. It's pretty damn fun. I do think there's a deck in here. I definitely don't think we've nailed it. I'd rather not play the selfie until we just go for the lesser witch. Then again, selfie area is pretty bad because of uh, the leader. This just seems like a weak play to me. I can just pass. Such an easy pass. They can't play a special card. So I'm just gonna have to go down go down cards for it. I guess they could go full leader. It's kinda interesting. Maybe this was good for them. I could see it being worth. We do have a lot of points on Mamuna though. Fortunately, I don't have a setup. I do actually have a setup for multiple things with Lesser Witch, right? Nice is a really good find with this hand. Um, a buyer is probably fine here. Incubus. Uh, no, I don't like the look. Of 
That's weird. What's an argument to hold on to this? Considering it's probably gonna play the lesser witch. I don't know, maybe I'm just not gonna bother with it though, right? I don't know. It's a weird one. Heatwave is a bit of a concern, but if we have like an early heatwave, they can't even answer this for it. We could maybe go for the bloody mistress route. Plays into serpent trap, I guess. Yeah, this is fine. I want this. Yoden? Don't have Lasse. Uh, I don't have Mamuna either. Don't break the arch pause, I guess. Nice, let's go. Um, let me start with this. The elders must put a stop to this rebellion, else they will face devastation. So, I thought I had one in the great and the oh god I suck man. Santa Mulligan this not <gasps> What a clown. What a clown mate. Not been my best day. At the office. No big deal. It happens. So we can go for we could still go for double Mamuna. Nice Mamuna. Thanks, guys. Popping off. Absolutely popping off, mate. What happened? I thought I had a bloody wi lesser witch in the deck, but I didn't even check, and I didn't. Sad thing is they killed this, so I could add, like, selfie to it. If I just waited a turn. Just played this, for example. I don't want to play into Heatwave, just... Well, I can play into Heatwave. I can't exactly play into Heatwave because they don't have Alza down on the board, right? If they Heatwave, their Alza goes to waste. Good news, guys. Kind of worked out. Because I knew I wanted to try and get the Mamuna done, I think, for this reason. I think that was part of my logic. But yeah, if they go Heatwave now... It's actually worked out for us. It would obviously have been better if I had the 10 extra points, but whatever it was. It would have been 5 at first, but then 10 down the line. So let me do this. Are we going to get Sabbath? So we go selfie to first, right? Three strength selfie is not great. Just because of the positioning, I messed up. Oh, we'll just eat that one. Yeah, I messed up again with positioning. That is a lot of bloody points, guys. It's a lot of points, guys. You'd be immortals. Let's go, Mary. Let's see you, my friend. Congratulations. That is pretty poggers, mate, I would say. So, I want to try and, like, get some shit set up. Some engines. But equally just playing into the Maddock is kinda of bad, right? But making a bomb. I have to play around making a bomb. Like I, if I just play the Witch Apprentice in this row, they can just kill if we're making a bomb. But yeah, I could have had basically fifteen more points if this wasn't brick.
What's one of my favorite voice lines? Um, oh, yes. It's a pretty good one. It's not the best, but it's not bad. So we have another situation where one of our leader charges is going to waste. Did not want to break the art spot though. Uh, Varu? There's so many good voice lines, it's hard to pick any. Looks like we're fine here. So I'd lose a point on Thrive Curve, but... Text my boys. I think it's worth it. Uridan would be popping off, not false. Bribe me, Dimwit. You're supposed to bribe me. True. Let's go! Yeah, I like this version with the Uridan in it. This deck seems alright. It's a bit weird, but...